Hey, how are we doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Age Technology Screens using nanotechnology gain. Now, everybody knows I'm very passionate about my work. And like I said, you know, if you go about your business and you don't mention our company's name or you don't try to slander us in any way, I go about my business. I don't really care at all because I have things I have to do. I'm a very busy person. But when you try to slander technology that we design or try to say things, you know, in your comments and then you're doing something that you clearly should not be doing, then I'm going to intervene, which I'm doing now. Now, one of the things I don't like, and I don't like it when people claim to have technology as supposed to be something when it really isn't. And the reason why, is I'm gonna show you this. This is called an Infinity Black Mix. Why don't you look at the screen? Just, just look at it. Now, we've all been to kindergarten. We all know our colors. Tell me, is that black or gray to you? Now, I'm seeing gray. Now, I'm pretty sure if you go to a car dealership and you say, hey, you know what? I would like to have a yellow Kia and they bring out a red Kia. I'm pretty sure you would know the difference between yellow and red. Now, in the uh, home theater world, a screen that is a very dark, dark gray is considered to be black. It is. But a screen of this light caliber isn't black. Now, also to keep in mind, if you're doing a demonstration of a black screen, on top of uh, with this and claim this to be black what do you think it's gonna have the higher white level now let me show you something here so we can deepen this this is my PS4 controller what color is this this is black right that's black that's gray you kinda see it there there you go I'm pretty sure I don't have to show you this because you can see it from there we're all intelligent people come on but it's just that when people do stuff like this and they claim it to be black now like I said if I if this was another mix and it was something else why would you title it being under Infinity Black Mix? This is not black. No matter how you look at it, you can't write your own rules when it comes to home theater. You have to be able to back up what your technology can do. That's why we do all those crazy, insane demonstrations. If I say we developed our own game, well, guess what? I can actually produce my screen in a fully lit environment, and I can do it on just about any projector I can use. I've done these screens outside between 9 and 10 o'clock in the morning. So it shows you that our technology and our game does work because we can back it up. Tons of videos, go through the archives, check it out. But when you're doing this and you're claiming that this is a black screen, it's not black. This screen is gray. All right, so with that being said, let's take a walk downstairs. All right, so we're going to take a trot downstairs really quick. Do, 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 we're going to be going into the dining room where I'm going to cover up my screen and show you that's black. See the blackout cloth right there in the corner? Right there. That's silver, but this is black. This is a black screen. Now, what I'm going to do is over here, I'm going to show you the projector I'm using. My ViewSonic 3200 lumens full 1080p. Keep in mind the projector that I have behind me on the floor is only. 1280 by 800 it's only compressed it's still 720p now you see the screen over there that looks like the screen you just saw in the video right but that's not the screen that's our uh, luminous high octane that's way beyond that right there now there you see the difference here cover this up a minute so we can do a little one-on-one -on -one here see the difference there you go now my projector is sitting back around nine feet from the screen now when you're using 4200 lumens on a projector and it's sitting right up on top of the screen on a little tiny uh square little screen like i said the closer the projector uh the higher the, the more the more closer the pixelations are going to be pushed together the more tighter and more sharper and more brighter the image is going to be keep in mind as a screen that's claiming to be black but it's actually gray and it's a projector that's 4200 lumens that's sitting right up on top of the screen and well you can do the math from there all right now let's start let's show you what we have from our screen at nine feet back 3200 lumens on a true black surface and keep in mind my ceiling fan isn't all the way up i have my, my light actually uh descends from the ceiling and it's quite bright as you can see it lights up the entire environment including the condensed lighting so this is why when people want oh, a certain person wants to claim our technology is overpriced 
consider the fact that we do demonstrations. I can prove that my screen has matched and beat a DMP supernova. I can prove it's been tested against a Dark Star 9, the Seymour AV 1.3. I can do all those demonstrations with no problem. I can take my screens outside and show, look, they produce images outside. We're like, like I'm doing right now on a black screen at nine feet back on 3200 lumens. All right, so let's come over here real quick. I got a couple of videos over here I'm checking out. We'll hit this one right here. Do some fish scenes real quick. Now this right here is gonna be converted to a luminous. It was nano, but it's gonna be converted to a luminous. And it's still, now we have to upgrade it so the screen is at 65% done. I'm gonna zoom up on it and show you. And like I said, this, it's what black should look like when it comes to a screen. That's black. Not gray. Now let's come over here real quick. I'm gonna show you something really interesting about this technology. Let's go around to the back part of it. It can produce an image on both sides. So this is the technology we're working on now on a panel, a black screen that can produce an image on both sides. A minute, hold this just a bit. Yeah, cover it up. I think I can get it covered up. Oops, I think it's gonna stay. Oh, let me see what I can do here. Trying to get that to cover up just a little bit. So we can smooth it out a little more. I'm bending a piece of paper over top of it. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna walk up on my screen so you can see. The screen is black. This is a black screen. Black. Not gray. Black. All right. Okay, for my time runs out here, I'm Kenneth Burke from Crystal Edge Technology Screens using Nanotechnology Gene. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Just want to show you exactly what a black screen is supposed to look like. Black. Ta-da! Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for your time.